sure fighter. He's fighting with all the and confidence. And that is it. It has been stopped. And now the new NABF WBA Gold Super Bantamweight Champion from Santana, California, Ronnie Rio! Feeling very excited, but very relaxed. You know, I've been in this situation in the past, so that experience has helped me out tremendously. But really relaxed, confident, and excited. I think that Ronnie back then, I think he was trying to please everybody, you know? And I think me, myself, I'm trying to please myself. I'm doing this to get those belts. That's my, that's my, that's my, that's my, um, my goal, is to get those titles. I'm not trying to take care of so, so I'm not trying to help this, I'm not trying to do this. I'm trying to win those belts. That's my priority right now. I mean, it was just, it was a different atmosphere back then. You know, after I had lost, I had doubt. I had, uh, um, I had lost some hunger, you know? And it took me a while to get it back, um, but my coach, Hector Lopez, my family, my friends, uh, everyone around me. I think when, you know, they start off so young, he was 13 years old, the quirky, even now he's quirky, but to see him become this young man, get married, buy his own house, have kids, uh, you feel like you had a little part of it and you know, you're good kids and it's special to me because he's been with me the longest. So yeah, I feel like a little bit apart, maybe I, I kind of pushed him along the way. Absolutely. They, they, they picked me back up. They helped me pick me up. They didn't pick me up entirely, but they helped me. And uh, they made this journey what it is today. You know, it's been an incredible journey, but without that, without that background, without that support system, it would have been very difficult to me to bounce back the way I did. It's a dream come true for, you know, not for just for him, for me too, because I've been seeing him, you know, I started professional and he's been, you know, one of the mandatories for a while. And now that he's going to chase that dream, you know, it just means a lot to me. Because all the, I see all the stuff that he does right, some of the stuff he does wrong, you just learn from all that stuff, you know, try to improve it on myself because at the end of the day, we're two, we're two different, diff, different people. But, you know, I just, I try to get a lot of advice that I possibly can from him. It would mean a lot to bring the, gold, the title back to Golden Boy because they re-signed me even after I had lost. But I think it would mean a lot more because of Robert Diaz. You know, uh, Robert Diaz and I have that relationship where I am really close to him. I do respect him. I'm not saying I don't respect anybody else, but him, I just, I feel like a closer connection to Robert. So that would mean a lot to me. And to bring the, the titles back to Santa, oh man, that would be an indescribable feeling. But I think at the end of the day, it's just how much, how bad do you want it? You know, you can fight so and so in the ring, you can spar with so and so, but at the end of the day, it's just how bad are you willing to sacrifice everything to get to where you want to get? All right, I'm checking it out, ladies and gentlemen. It's now time to weigh in the chief support of the evening for Saturday night. That's Mr. Andy Hearn in association with World of Boxing and Golden Boy Promotions are proud to present 12 rounds of boxing for the unified WBA and IBF Super Bantamweight Championship of the World. Proudly fighting out of his home of Santa Ana, California. He was the WBA number one ranked contender, Ronnie Rios. Rios. 121.8 for the challenger, already 121.8 pounds for Ronnie Rios. Marajan Ahmad Ali, Ronnie Rios, 12 rounds for the unified WBA and IBF Super Bantamweight Championship of the World. You're only going to be as strong as your weakest link. I don't want to be that weak link. I want to be the leader of the pack. They expect a hungry, dedicated, passionate Ronnie Rios to come out on June 25th. I just want to say thank you to everybody that supported me through thick and thin. Thank you so much for your enduring support. 
and my friends and family. Thank you so much. I love you guys.